In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this interactive 3D hero animation in Framer without writing a single line of code. And the crazy thing is that we're not going to use Blender or Spline or anything like that. We're not going to use a 3D modeling app for this. We're just going to use Framer, which is a no-code website builder. And yeah, we're going to be pretty much able to do uh, this crazy animation, this 3D scene with Framer. So my name is Nandi, this is Framer University, and let's get started. So as you can see, here we are in Framer and I have this little starter file here. And um, yeah, it's nothing special. It's just a couple of text layers uh, in a couple of stacks. It's really nothing special. The special part will come right now when we are setting up this little hero animation. So the first thing that I'm going to do is, of course, we need these little images. And for those images, we need the frames. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a frame here on the canvas. I'm just pressing F on my keyboard and drawing this frame. And so this will be 260 in width and 370 in height. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a 20 pixel radius to it. So the corners are nicely rounded. And then the fill color will of course be an image. So I'm going to choose my image, which is going to be this first image from my finder. Then I'm going to rename this frame to image. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this within another frame. So I'm going to press Option, Command and Enter. And so now, as you can see, we wrapped it in a stack. We will call this stack arm. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the width to a fixed value. And then what I want to do is I want to position this image to the right side of this arm. So the way I can do that is by adjusting the layout settings of this arm. So I'm going to go to the right panel and then go and change the distribute to end. So now, as you can see, the image is on the right side of this arm. And what I can do now is I can go to the image and I'm going to transform it, rotation, 3D, and I'm going to change the Y rotation here. And I'm going to change it to 90. So now, as you can see, we cannot really see anything from the image because we are seeing the edge of the image and it is basically invisible. However, if you think about it a little bit, if we rotate this arm now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to transform it, rotate, and then rotate it like this. Then in theory, we should start seeing the image, but we don't see it because the problem here is that the arm and the image is not within the same 3D space. We can fix this by adding preserve 3D to the arm. So now, as you can see, we can see the image. If we add a perspective distortion to this, maybe 800, you're going to see that I can rotate this around. And basically, this is the setup that we are going to have here. If you don't understand something about these 3D transforms, I have a free crash course on this topic. You can find it in the description. So now what I can do is I can make sure that when this image is right here, we cannot see it. The way we can do that is by adding the backface visibility property to it, because what we essentially want to do here is that we don't want to see the backside of the image and we can hide that easily by going to the image, go add backface and toggle the visibility to hidden. As you can see, we can still see it. And that's because this image is rotated the wrong way. And so as you can see now, if the arm is in this position, we cannot see the image because it is currently showing its back face and now it's showing its front face and that's why we see it. So if we flip this image around and change it to minus 90, it will be perfectly fine. So we can now rotate it like this. So what we can do now is we can just set it to 90. So it is at the center of this little website. And then what I can do is I can just duplicate these arms and have a bunch of these and just change their rotation. So first, what I'm going to do before that is that I'm going to change the width to 1400 and the height will be 240. And so now before creating all those arms, I'm going to wrap this in another frame. So option, command and enter. This will be called arms. And so now what I can do is I can duplicate arm. This will be arm one, by the way. 
this will be arm 2, the duplicated one. And now these are right below each other, but if I change the arm 2 to episode positioning, I can now move this around freely to the left, right, bottom, top. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Option H and Option V to center it. And then I'm going to just deactivate all these pins and make sure that this blue dot is in the center. So now I can just change the arm 2's rotation to, let's say, 120 and I can just change the image here to our second image so I'm gonna just pick this other image here and then uh, what I can do is I can just duplicate these arms a bunch of times and then rotate them around uh, with the different rotations so here 150 and then again change the image and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this basically six times and I'm gonna probably speed up this part of the video however there's a little issue before speeding up the video is that you can see that this image just starts getting cropped off right here uh, or cut off and that's because we have these arms on overflow hidden if we change it to visible now it will allow us to see the overflowing parts so that's really important to do uh, before doing all these rotations So as you can see, now we have these seven arms here on the canvas. I created all of them. And what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna wrap this arms frame in another stack. So I'm gonna press Option, Command and Enter on my keyboard. This will be called Carousel. And then what I'll do is I'll basically go and add a perspective to the carousel. So I'm gonna go transform perspective and I'm gonna set it to 800. We can actually remove all the perspectives from these arms. I actually have no idea why we added these. So let's just remove this because when we are creating these 3D uh, scenes in Framer, it is really important to all, always have the perspective on the, uh, on the main wrapping frame. So in this case, this is the carousel. This wraps all these uh, elements that are within our 3D space. So we're going to add the perspective to that and then the preserve 3D as well. And what else do we have to do? Yes, also give the preserve 3D to the arms. And now, as you can see, it is perfectly fixed. And so if we go to the carousel now and add a rotation of 3D and on the Y, you can start seeing that this is what we are going to do with the 3D look component. We are going to be able to drag it around to rotate it like this. However, there's a small issue and that's the fact that when we rotate it around, there is a huge gap there. And so to fix that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate all of these images. And so we're not only going to have an image on the arms right side, but we're going to also have an image on the arms left side. So now we have this arm one, for example, right here, or let's say this arm two, we have the image right here on the one side of the frame. And then we're going to duplicate this. Now, as you can see, it's placed right here. And if I change the arm twos distribute to space between, this will basically mean that they will be uh, equally distributed along this width of the arm. And so the first one will be at the start and the last one will be at the end of the arm. So if I start rotating this around again, you will see that on the other side, we cannot see it because we also have to make sure that it, its rotation is flipped. So it's not minus, but plus 90 degrees. And so now as you can see, if we start rotating around this carousel, we can see that other image on the other side, which is exactly what we want. So we have to do this for each image. So I'm going to duplicate this image here, this as well, this, 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 and this. And then we're going to go ahead and select all of these arms, make sure that space between is set on each of them. And then, of course, what we have to do is we have to select all of these images here that we duplicated and we have to flip their Y to 90 degrees. And in theory, if we start rotating around this carousel, we'll see a perfect, uh, perfect carousel, a perfect circle with uh, no gaps at all, which is exactly what we see. So it is perfect. So now we have this scene set up right here. And basically all we have to do is to grab the 3D component, connect it to this uh, carousel, and we can start customizing it really easily. 
So let's do that. Okay, so basically you're gonna have this 3D look component here on the assets panel if you remix this project. By the way, the link will be in the description. So you just drag and drop this 3D look here onto the canvas and you can see it says set up the component. So let's set up the component. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this carousel that we have and just place it right here. And then I'm gonna replace it with the 3D look. I'm gonna put it here. And yeah, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just connect it. So I'm gonna drag and connect it to this frame. So now we notice a little problem. As you can see, it already has a, has a cool effect. It follows the cursor kind of, uh, but we lost the perspective distortion. No worries, we have a property for that on the right panel, perspective. We are going to enable it and then set it to 800. So now, as you can see, uh, the perspective is nicely applied. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select dragging here. We're going to enable dragging and basically that's it. Now we are going to be able to drag this carousel and we, we can just we can just rotate it around. However, you can see that we can also rotate it up and down, which is not something we want. So we can also add a rotation limit. So rotation limit X and we're going to set a, a limit of zero. So we cannot rotate it along the X axis. So we can, we can no longer rotate it up and down. So yeah, we can just go to the right or to the left. We can improve this by adding a different cursor when we hover over this. So we can select the carousel. We can go to cursor, web cursor, and we can select this grab cursor. And then what will happen is that if we go here, you can see that my cursor is the grab cursor. Hopefully the screen recorder is also displaying it properly. And as you can see, now we have this perfect hero section with this amazing 3D animation. And we can also go to the perspective because as you can see, the lower the value, the more intense the effect will be. So maybe if you want to go really crazy, you can set 500 and make your friends go wow. A little tip here is that if you don't want to make it draggable, you can just delete the 3D look component, put the carousel back. So carousel, we're going to put it back. And what you can do is you can add an effect to the carousel. It's going to be a loop. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate it around in the 3D space on the Y axis 360 and the linear transition can have around 20 seconds time. So now, as you can see, you get like an automated you know, animation. It just goes around, loops around. So you can also do something like this. So yeah, and the crazy thing is that we are using Framer. We don't have to write a single line of code. Um, if you wanted to do something like this with code, you would need to know all sorts of different uh, coding languages. And yeah, it would be pretty much a complicated thing to achieve. However, we have Framer, uh, which makes our life a lot more easier. So that's it for this video. I hope that you learned something from it. Make sure to drop your questions in the comments and uh, also check out Framer University because I have all sorts of different free lessons, remixes, resources for you. So it's going to probably help you learn Framer. So yeah, that's it for this video. Make sure to like it and subscribe for more. And I'm going to see you in the next one.